Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, Contributing Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. So last week I filed a report on a rendering program called Bunk Speed Shot. Today I'm taking another shot, so to speak. This is Keyshot from Luxion, a rival renderer. Well, that's a bit difficult to say, isn't it? A rival renderer to the one from Bunk Speed. One might say both Bunk Speed Shot and Luxion's Keyshot stem from the same technological origin, a previous program called HyperShot. How did this one product split into two? Well, that's a history lesson unto itself. I'll talk about that later, but for now, let's just have a look at Keyshot. Keyshot has a floating palette interface, similar to the one in HyperShot. In the previous version, you use a whole bunch of key commands to control and move your models, like Control alt left mouse click or Control alt mouse wheel That's a bit difficult to remember and execute, so I'm glad to say that in Keyshot, you can simply right-click on the model, then use the movable arrows to drag and reorient your model around any way you want. But if you need to move or rotate your model precisely, like 45 or 30 degree angles along an axis, the Options dialog box might be better for you. You apply your materials by dragging and dropping them into the model from right here, from the palette. Same goes for the environment too but you control the look and feel of the applied materials or surroundings by using the Options dialog box here. This lets you change the color and texture of the materials or the brightness of the environment, for example. The icons lined up at the bottom of your program window is also exactly in the progression that matches the typical rendering workflow. So you import your model first, then you apply materials, set environment and backdrops, get screenshots to see what it looks like, then commit to a rendering session. With the Options tool controlling your camera, depth of field is also much easier to manage. This lets you create a shot where your virtual camera's focus point is aimed at one area, so objects in the distance are realistically blurred. You enable it right here, then adjust the blur behavior right here. In Keyshot, you can turn almost any material into emissive material. So you can turn things into glowing headlights on a car or a glowing light bulb. But you need to know that in order to do that, you won't find a bunch of preset emissive materials in the library that you can drag and drop. So I hope that the next version comes with a ready-to-use set of emissive. If you want to create a decal, that is, to superimpose a 2D object onto your 3D model, you can do that by loading an image as a texture or a label and then you adjust the position and orientation through these slider bars. Decal is just one of those things that are really fun, but at the moment just difficult to do in most rendering programs, especially to get it to show up right where you want it to appear. Ideally, I'd like to be able to just drag a decal and drop it into the exact area of the surface where I want it to appear. At the moment, I cannot see that option in either Luxion's key shot or in Bunk Speed shot, for that matter. So here's the rough background for the two rendering programs. In the beginning was Bunk Speed HyperShot. The technology behind HyperShot was maintained by Luxion and it licensed it to Bunk Speed. In November 2009, licensing negotiations between the companies broke down, so Luxion began offering its own renderer called Keyshot. Bunk Speed went ahead and licensed Mental Images iRay Engine to continue offering its own renderer, now rebranded as Shot. What's the main difference between the two? Keyshot, based on Luxion's original technology, relies on the CPU. Monk Speed, because it uses Mental Images technology, relies on both CPU and GPU, the graphics card. I'm not technically knowledgeable enough to say which method is better, but here's what I'm doing. I'm posting images of the same scene set up with the same model under the same environment, rendered at the same resolution, but rendered one at a time in each program to my blog. So come take a look at them and decide for yourself as to which one you'd like to use. If you have lots of 3D assets and you're lucky enough to be running a powerful workstation with multi-core CPUs for instance, I encourage you to check out Keyshot just to see how your models will look fully rendered. By the way, most people use decal function to place logos on 3D objects. That's how professionals might do it. Me, I like to place my face where it doesn't belong. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine, trying not to get carried away with decals.